Welcome everyone to our first class at Ashland Turkey Tango Festival on the fundamentals of Bilonga. We covered four chapters today and we're going to ask the, uh, the students what those chapters were. Okay, chapter one? Praising. 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 Exactly. What game did we play? Chacarera. Milonga Chacarera, right? We made four steps forward, four steps back to a very well-behaved Milonga. Most Milongas are not perfectly behaved. The one we danced to, Milonga Vieja Milonga, was by Darienzo, so you can practice to that one. Um, and after you count for a while academically or in practice, what do we want you to do? Not count. Raise your hand. I swear I will not count at the milonga. Please. Right? I count Do not at the count milonga. at the milonga. Once you feel the phrasing for any song, tango waltz, or milonga in this class, then you can proceed to move any way you want. You can play, you can be the butterfly. You don't have to step on the strong beat. You can just go to town. But that phrasing is there internally. Great. We combine chapters two and three. What were they? Yeah, the idea of being grounded with our partners pushing down on our hips so we had that feeling of weight. Did you want to explain? Okay. And also stepping on what two beats? The strong beat. With the strong beats, and later in chapter four we gave them numbers, okay? But there's that strong beat there. What are the numbers? One, one and two. two. Yes. One and two. And if you can just latch on to those, is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so at the Milonga just as a foundation, latch on to those strong beats and try to also create what on the floor? The little puddles and what are you doing? Splashes. Yeah, what kind of splashes? You're not making sound, but you can emphasize how can you, the intensity of your splash can be A or B. You can make a splash or a small splash. You can play with the quality of your splash. And tie that into your phrasing, and you have very nice breaks. There is microphrasing, and of course, the phrasing of the sentence. You decide how to emphasize your step. But that feeling of being grounded instead of ice skating along the floor is really important. Great. The fourth chapter was? What's the city we're from or close to? San Francisco. Yeah, great. San Francisco, double time, traspier, from a rhythmically correct standpoint. Okay, because in general you can double time or traspiate anywhere and be the schmetterling, the butterfly. Mm -hmm. But in this class, we're focused on the rhythmic traspiate, which is where? San Francisco, what's the one? one. San. San. What's the two? Six. Okay, so where's the traspiate? Around, around, around what number? The one or the two? Two. Two. two? two. Yeah, from a rhythmically correct standpoint, it's around the two. One, a two, and one. A two and San. Francisco San. Francisco San. Francisco San. And we gave you a nice box step to try with your partner. You can use it in the milonga to come out. You can maybe softly come out of it. And then maybe just add half the box step, the top half or the bottom half. For the more advanced students, you can even reverse the rotation, which is much harder. Okay. What else did you learn in this class, followers? Exactly. How? Uh, subtle movements of the arm, the head, the eyes, um, breaths. Yes. So without back leading, as Christina explained, uh, without using your legs so much, the rest of your body, you can gently communicate phrasing and little things. The enlightened leader will get it. Or if, even if they don't, they might be amazed at their musicality. Okay. We'll do a small demo, and then we'll stop. Ungulare de mi bandera, dare de cinta criolla, el impido cielo, guardado de nube, llevas en tu pelo, incita de que le tira, que esto no es orgullo, y cuanto sol tiene, no es su suyo. Thank you. 